Pyroraptor, Borealo Pelter, and the rework of the Goya Gore, and so much more. There's a lot to cover for mods this week in Path of Titans, so let's dive into it. The Ancient Gods Collection, who we know has been released, the Chimerasaurus, have announced two of her brand new beasts that are due to enter their roster. The first one, that is technically the second one, because it was announced second, but it's the one that's going to be releasing first, is one of the best preserved dinosaurs in existence. This is Borealopelter, but what is it? A genus of nodosaurid dinosaur from the Lower Cretaceous of Alberta, Canada, Borealopelter is one of the best preserved dinosaurs going, named in 2017 while its holotype specimen was uncovered in March of 2011 at the Millennium Mine north of Fort McMurray. This dinosaur is currently on display at the Royal Terrell Museum and it's absolutely beautiful. Sitting at 5.5 meters in length and weighing approximately 1.1 metric tons give or take this is probably one of the most remarkable nodosaurid discoveries about so this is being brought to the game and we already get to see the model and get a glimpse of what this beast will be like in the game as well and i gotta say the model for it is incredible However, the creators of the mod go on to say this. The second Ancient Gods Collection creature. We chose to present our lower slot animal as it appears in the miraculously preserved fossil, minus one detail, a giant prehensile tongue. A recent paleo meme among ankylosaurs, this nodosaur will support its allies by licking them and increasing bleed recovery whilst having to constantly maintain its own armor integrity without becoming soft. So what we know about this dinosaur from what they have said, it's going to be able to support its dinosaurs by licking them which will help with bleed recovery. It is going to be smaller than Anodontosaurus and it's going to have a game play style of some sort of emergency response paladin. We also get to know that this dinosaur will have to maintain its armor as well because perhaps over time it will go soft. They also mentioned that its shield is designed to deal with cuts not cracks. Perhaps this is a dinosaur that could be better at dealing with bleed than it is to raw damage and that could be its weakness. This is one of the dinosaurs I am most excited for. If I'm honest, I love nodosaurs and Borealopelter is one of the best ones going, especially with how well preserved it is as well. So, the third mod that was brought by the Ancient Gods collection is actually more of a surprise to me because it's another Tyrannosaurus Rex remake. This is Rex Reborn and was shown off via one of the animations for it, which was the Trot animation. This is a behind scenes look at it pretty much. You get to see the raw mesh of the model or the sculpt and the dinosaur's trot cycle. And I don't know if this is the proper trot cycle either. And to be fair, as far as mods go, this one looks absolutely gorgeous is so far the trot cycle looks good and if it's anything compared to the chimerasaurus mod this is going to be a very very interesting mod to make its way into the game and it's going to be very neat however that's all we know about this one so let's dive into the next mod a tyrannosaur that you all know and love Hyper SG's Teratophonius has been shown off more and this is a mod that I talked about and introduced in a video here that I recommend you check out if you want to know more about this mod and some other stuff that we know about it so far. That being said, we get free skins and a little bit of information regarding this mod. Before I get into the skins however, this is the information that they provided. The animations, the abilities and other technical stuff are still in some form of development as HyperSG said he is cooking them up and they are not properly ready to show off just yet but will probably be shown off in due time. Anyways, let's go to the skins. These were suggested and designed kind of by the community so realistically if you want to suggest a skin and have a shot of it coming to Teratophonius, join the Wrath of Goliath's Discord server and go to the thread which showcases all the skins where you can submit for Teratophonius. Anyways, the skins. The first one is Golden and this is Golden. The next one is Australis and both of these were designed by a user called Wii U. The next one is the Tombstone skin and this was designed by a user called Shamrock and Roll. Incredible skins. They've done a very, very good job here. But also, as I want to reiterate right here, HyperSG did mention that if you do have any suggestions, you can suggest them in this thread here and maybe if you're lucky they could be applied to the dinosaurs because these 
our community suggested skins. A while ago, I covered a mod called Pyroraptor that was being made by Fei Long. Well, we have some news regarding this mod anyways. Fei Long has essentially remade the sculpt of the mod, minus the feathers, because he thought that he could improve upon it. And I definitely think he has here. This looks absolutely fantastic. And while it is missing its feathers, it looks absolutely beautiful. And I cannot wait to see this in the game and the progress on it. But as far as Pyroraptor goes, all we get to see is the remake of the sculpt, and that's all we get so far. Hopefully this is the only remake that it will get, and then we can probably see some further progress with it in the future. Anyways, the next and final dinosaur before I hop into the game and showcase the Goya Gore rework is the Divine Beast Giganotosaurus. The Divine Beast Giganotosaurus received some massive news recently, and for all of you guys excited for this one, well, you should be more excited now. The creator of the mod, Dr. The Eleventh, said this, Giganotosaurus's dev kit implementation starts now. No ETAs, but after this, it will be pending testing and approval process. So I just want to reiterate what he has said there. No ETAs. We don't know when this is coming. The creator of the mod doesn't know when it's coming. You can't predict when something is coming like this because it's literally at the whim of the mercy of testing and then the developers of the game approving it themselves. So, that being said, we do technically get to know that this thing is relatively close, like in some shape or form it's going into dev kit implementation and all that, so we could see it in the next couple months. That being said, we also get to know some other stuff regarding this mod, and it's to do with, well, it's locomotion. They have different animations for juvenile compared to the adult, where the juvenile animations are set to be more bouncy, and the adult animations are more solid in its steps. Introducing the brand new Goya Gore mod to the game and if you thought the previous one kind of acted like a honey badger Well, this one literally goes toe and toe into that honey badger look because this looks absolutely menacing Looks absolutely awesome at that a really really cool mod and a really cool remake today I'm just going to give you the quick rundown of what this basically is showcase the attacks and the new abilities and the new skins on the new model and uh, Yeah, let's go ahead really quickly and just showcase the adult. This is it. It looks great And well, let's just go ahead and showcase the colors for it as an adult first As far as I'm aware, these are different sounds compared to previously. I love that. That's so good. The alert. His tail kind of flicks a little bit there. Yeah, it's like cowering. You know, this one. Shake. And then you've got the stretch, I love the way the tail animates by the way, after that shake the tail done a little like, it moved around a bit and now you've got the look around. So, this obviously is a new remake of the Goya Gore, the Goya Gore has already still existed before, I think I have some pictures of the old one. This thing is completely different and it looks absolutely incredible. When it comes to the abilities, you do get quite a bit here, you get free on your head, you get the bite, you get the armor crushing bite, and then you get the thrash. It allows the Goya Gore to thrash around while it's holding prey in its mouth. It causes medium damage to held players. It can also use players as a weapon, which is pretty cool. You've got the armor crushing bite, which of course is kind of like it allows to break through uh, armor and ignore the armor and do damage based on that. And then the bite does standard damage. For the sensors, you've got Carnage, which increases attack by 20% when within 75 meters of the corpse. Lone Hunter, where you gain 10% increased attack damage when not in a group. Then you go to your front limb, and this is where you get your shoulder bash right and left. It's the same as the previous Goya Gore mod, and then you get your stomp ability, which allows you to do a stomp um, and will allow you to hurt anything that gets under you. Metabolisms, you get Scavenger, Hyper Carnivore, and Opportunistic Omnivore. This one allows you to eat meat, fish, berries, nuts, and insects but your hunger drains 10 times faster. These ones are pretty standard as well. For hide, you just get normal hide. For lace, you get lunge, which allows you to launch yourself at prey to grab animals with its powerful jaw. So this is kind of like the grab by the sounds of it, but you do a lunge as well. 
You get your tail slap and then you get armored tail, which does damage and status effects inflicted to your tail is drastically reduced. Then you get two vocal abilities. You get intimidating rumble, which is when you threaten to intimidate their foes. Decreases attack damage for 50% for all players except you and your group. And then you've got berserk, which allows you to go angry enraged uh, it does more damage uh, by 50 more damage to all attacks but your armor is weakened during berserk so this is your bite this is your berserk that is incredible wow this is your crushing bite this is your lunge this is your shoulder bash right i'm not going to show the left one it's the same animation and so just picture that going the other way very simple and then you get your stomp and then you get your tail slap now there is a vocal ability and another bite attack to showcase so let's showcase them off so this is intimidating roar or rumble and then you get that effect and then you get your other ability which is thrash and that's what thrash looks like it's more so better when you've got dinosaurs in your mouth. Anyways, let's go ahead and showcase all the skins for this mod. When it comes to the skins and the subspecies, actually, let's showcase them as well. So you've got the male and the female. So the main color difference is mainly on the spikes. Then for the subspecies, you've got Vasikos, which is plus 10% venom resistance. Then you've got an Oncodis, which is plus 5% armor, which looks absolutely menacing. Kind of looks like a nodosaur in a sense. And then you've got Leptos, which is plus 10% reflect damage. And then you go back to Vasikos. When it comes to your skins, the lighting isn't the best here, but let's rattle through them. You've got your default. Here's the patterns. Love the patterns. Love that one right there. Then you've got Badger can finally become the badger of your dreams desert magma marble orca spring adder i love that it's really nice i like the colors on that the lighting isn't doing any justice here then you got tiger grimclaw which is a beautiful blue melanistic and the albino skin a lot of cool skins i really like that albino skin actually it's very different to other albino skins but that is the remake of the goya Gore. let me know what you think of course everybody let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below and if you want to check out another video i recommend this video on the screen now where i talked about upcoming change to the ambient life in path of titans it's quite a substantial change to the fish and it's getting shown off a bit on their Instagram page and we talked about that as well as some suggestions about it too. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. Let me know what mod you are most excited for and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.